Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Gold Experience C1. Um, I hope you're well. So we're finishing the unit today. The unit has been about magic, image, reality. You remember that wonderful magic trick I did, pulling a rabbit out of a hat? Amazing, huh? And uh, we're going to be practicing some of the language, the grammar, basically, related to what we studied in this unit. Okay, um, we're going to start off with listening to people talking about magic and illusion. And you're going to finish off by reading an article about a different kind of illusion, very prevalent these days, which is fake news. I'm sure there's been a lot of fake news that you've heard about coronavirus and its implications. Okay, so let's start straight away. Page 90. Okay, unit check. The first exercise is a listening. Okay, we're going to listen to two friends talking about a magic show. Okay, look at the five sentences that we have got. The first one, the girl thinks magic is rubbish. Okay, not too impressed, huh? Number two, the girl thinks the boy may go to see the magician again. Three, the boy is planning to try and solve the tricks. The girl, number four, the girl thinks other people have already tried to solve the tricks. And finally, number five, the boy believes the tricks may have been solved. Okay, so let's listen to these two friends talking about the magic show, and you decide, true or false. You know, if we hadn't gone to the magic show, I would still believe it was all rubbish. Well, if I thought it was rubbish, I would never have recommended it to you. OK, well, should you want to go again? Count me in. Yes, he's playing again this weekend, and if I watch him carefully, I know I can work it out. Never! That's the point. Given the fact that he's so famous, don't you think others would have tried? Well, you never know. Maybe, had they cracked it, they wouldn't tell. No. Oh. So we listen to that again? It was short, wasn't it? Took me by surprise. You know, if we hadn't gone to the magic show, I would still believe it was all rubbish. Well, if I thought it was rubbish, I would never have recommended it to you. OK, well, should you want to go again? Count me in. Yes, he's playing again this weekend, and if I watch him carefully, I know I can work it out. Never! That's the point. Given the fact that he's so famous, don't you think others would have tried? Well, you never know. Maybe, had they cracked it, they wouldn't tell. OK. The girl thinks magic is rubbish. That's false, isn't it? She, uh, she would never have taken them if she didn't think magic was good. The girl thinks the boy may go to see the magician again. Yeah, I think so. Yes, yeah, she's going to see if she can help to get him in. The boy is trying, planning to try and solve the tricks. False, I don't think he is. She might, but he thinks it's a waste of time. The girl thinks other people have already tried to solve the tricks. True, that's true, she's uh, certain about that. And finally, the boy believes the tricks may have been solved. He thinks that's true. OK, so there we have it. So, uh, exercise two, three, let's have a look at them. So in exercise two, you've got a text about patterns, okay? Read the text about why our brain sees patterns and complete each gap with the correct form of the verbs. Now, what we're looking at here, more than anything in this unit, has been conditionals and other uh, more advanced forms of conditionals, things like mixed conditionals. If I, if coronavirus hadn't arrived in Spain, we wouldn't be sitting here. We would be at school instead. Um, words like uh, should instead of using if, so that's more advanced features. Remember that, like should we want to avoid the pr problem getting worse, we should stay at home, should we want, meaning if we want, uh, or were. If 
can sometimes say if the government were to find a vaccine I'm sure they would use it immediately. I recommend you look at the grammar section in the back of the book okay, uh, just to review about the use of conditionals and uh, other forms and then so let's have a look it's in the back on page 100 I'm getting there 152 I believe yeah 152 you'll see lots of different things there all about conditionals mixed conditionals and alternative forms read through those and um, See if you can complete the exercises two and three. Send me the answers. Uh, in exercise four, you need to rewrite your answer in exercise three. But remember, it's only sentences two to six. Hmm? Okay. Exercise five, we're looking at linking expressions. Some things that we looked at in uh, the use of English section, part one. Again, look at the back, you'll see some ideas there. And finally, a more general thing uh, uh, about fake news. Okay, Read about how to spot a fake news story. Some good advice there for you in these times. <coughs> and complete the gap with one word only. Okay, Part 7, don't do. Okay, So we've just listened to the people. I would like you to do two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, I'm really making you work this week. I told you. I told you at the start of the week, this week was a big work week. Okay, do the exercises, send me the answers to the usual address, and I'll get back to you. Okay, it's now eight o'clock. You know what it's time for me to go and do? I've got to go and clap my hands. So, have a good weekend and please 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 get in touch okay goodbye